Hello everyone and welcome to the Xanadu Chronicles. We are Frank and Jim, two former Seattleites who did the whole work thing and were lucky enough to retire early. We bought a home in the Sunshine State and spent 14 months having it renovated from the studs on out. But even then, a home is never done. Watch as we tackle everyday life and all the random things that come with continually improving, organizing, decorating and maintaining a home and garden all in the name of creating our own personal paradise. Hello everyone and welcome to the Xanadu Chronicles. My name is Frank and welcome to the vlog. For those of you who have watched our four prior videos, thank you so much and doubly so to those of you who subscribe. I'm hoping that you will share this with your friends and comment and like and get them to subscribe and join us on our journey. This vlog is pretty simple. It's about me, my husband, my three pups, and our home here in Florida. We're retired and then you know we've got a lot of stuff to still do here even though the house has been newly renovated and we're going to take you on that journey with us. So again, we're relatively new so please feel free to let us know if there's something specific you'd like to see or learn about us and we'll do what we can to kind of integrate that. But for my first video I decided I'm going to do something so amazing and glamorous for you and show you how we start our day off or how I start our day off really, and that is fixing the beds. We've gotten up early, we took the pups out, we gave them their snacks, we had our coffee, watched a couple YouTube videos this morning, and now it's time to get chores done. Jim is outside doing some work in the yard, as that is his domain, the outside. My domain is here inside, and I'm gonna show you, like I said, how I fix the beds, because you gotta do it. And Actually, to be honest, when we were in Seattle, um, I really never did that uh, for the 13 years that we lived in our house because we both got up so early in the morning that uh, it just didn't seem worth it. And by the time I rushed out of the house, I was already, you know, late. <laughs> so I had to uh, pick my battles, and that was one battle that lost every single day. But now that we're retired, I have no excuse. And it's one of those things where I decided that I wanted to incorporate that in our in our daily routine because it's just a good thing to do. I love getting into a fixed bed at night and it doesn't fix itself so someone's got to do it and that's me. So let's get started. Excuse my back here as I do this but this side of the bed or this side of the room actually is Jim's bed and as you can see yeah we've got two twins and as I said in our prior video we used to have a queen size bed but that really, you know, kind of wore out uh, its appeal, especially as we've gotten older. Uh, these beds are adjustable, and um, like I said, we've got three dogs, and guess who they sleep with? Actually, two of them sleep with me. One of them sleeps here in her bed, Treacle Tart, our oldest, who sleeps in her own bed. But the other two, younger ones, Figgy Pudding and Ginger Snap, who's over there, um, sleep with me on my bed. So it just made sense. Two separate beds. Jim likes to adjust his, I don't. Uh, so, why not Lucy and, and Ricky Ricardo it, right? So to begin, as you see, I've got white sheets on the bed. We used to have, in Seattle, on our queen size bed, used to use colored sheets, beautiful colored sheets, uh, and I would switch them out, mix and match, and do all those wonderful, cool things that you do with, with uh, bedding. And Loved it, absolutely loved it, but unfortunately my face products bleach it. So we would end up with pillows and sometimes even blankets with bleach spots on them because of my product. And so I just was like, I'm over it, I'm done. Not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna keep everything white so that, just like our towels, just so that if there's, um, we get any stains on them, they're easy to clean and I don't have to worry about my product bleaching it out. So. As you can see, white sheets for everyone. Now, I didn't get rid of those sheets. I actually kept them. Excuse my back as I do this. But I actually kept them because in our library, we have a sofa bed and for our guests. And that's a queen-size mattress. So I kept the sheets there, the pillowcases that were bleached we got rid of. But uh, all the good pieces that we could use, I kept. And so now I can make a pretty bed out there for our guests and not have to... Um, 
you know, get rid of them because they were really awesome. Actually, before I do anything, I want to show you something. For those of you who may not know, uh, and I doubt that anybody watching this does not know this, but the thick side of the hem of the blanket, that's the tie that goes at the top of the bed. For those youngins out there who don't know that well, now you do. And the thin, thinner hem goes at the bottom. Pretty obvious, but I don't want to assume anyone knows everything, so I'm just going to say it anyways. Now, when I fold our sheets, I actually fold it in such a way that I end up with a crease down the center of the sheet. So I use that crease as my guiding point because we've got these amazing antique uh, tortoiseshell bamboo and, and rattan headboards that we got uh, when we moved down here. And there's a diamond pattern in the middle, so I just use this center line here as my guideline for the crease line. Now, because they are two beds, I like to make them symmetrical, you know, I'll fix them symmetrically and make them as even as possible because that's the design uh, layout that we have for this room. And here's a little tip for people who don't know, uh, when you have symmetry in a space, that is actually uh, a lot more palatable or relaxing for the eye. And so it's, it's perfect to have in a bedroom. That's why so often you'll see people with you know, matching nightstands if they've got a queen bed and things doing the same on both sides of the bed, you know, the decor being the same because it is pleasing to the eye. Um, and in our instance, since we have two twin beds, I'm doing the same thing. Okay, there's the line going down the center. And, you know, I might be a little OCD in, in regards to how I do things, but, um, you know, I was always taught, if you're going to do something, do it right the first time. Um, otherwise, you're just going to waste your time doing it over and over again uh, until you do it actually the right way. So, it's just, you know, if you want to waste your time uh, or use extra time in the beginning to do it right, or do you want to waste your time by doing it over and over again? So I'd rather do it right the first time and take a little longer. So as I pull the front down, again, because I'm a little OCD in regards to this, I actually use the edge of this secretary as my guideline for the fold, for the first fold, and then I take, yeah, I fold up again. Now, years ago, I watched one of my all-time idols, Martha Stewart, fixing a bed. And she did it with hospital corners and loved it. I did that for our bed in Seattle when I did fix it on the weekends typically. Um, I would do the hospital corners. And I don't do that here because one, it's to, um, you know, because they're adjustable beds, I don't want to inadvertently tuck in the sheets and next thing you know, uh, forget and Jim adjusts his bed and rips it out or something. It'd just be my luck, right? But, um, so I don't tuck it, I'm not, I don't even bother with that. I just let it hang off the sides, which I like. Now, as you see, we've got a series of pillows here. And this is actually where I inject some color. Uh, for those of you who have seen our reveal videos, you saw them, the beds with uh, a pattern quilt, which I like to have when it's a little cooler on the beds. And of course, when, you know, if we're going to have a party or something and, and the whole house is pretty much open to everyone, I like to fix up the beds a little bit nicer um, and put those quilts on because they're really pretty. But Otherwise, we just sleep with sheets. We have the slider open pretty much all night long. You get the ocean breezes to come in. It's beautiful. And uh, we're in Florida. If I haven't said that a thousand times already, we're in Florida, so it's warm. And it, we really don't need anything heavier than, than coverlets or cover sheets um, for the most part of the year. Now, I've got three pillows here. And again, what I like to do is I put the open end of the pillow on the outside, just because it's not the prettiest thing. And you know, pillowcases get wrinkled, the blanket gets wrinkled, and anything I can do to kind of uh, make it look as pretty as possible, I try to do. And I don't find these ends that pretty to see. So I put them on the outside, stack them up. Now, the top pillow for me, this is a decorative pillow, really. Actually, it's a little bit more just for the color and the pattern, um, and it's a beautiful quilted green. As you can see, we have a very colorful room, but um, they're very floral inspired. And so, uh, I actually don't use that pillow, but Jim does. 
Jim actually uses all three pillows. He's a, I don't know how, or, you know, I don't know how he can use them all, but he does. For me, I, I rarely um, use that many pillows to sleep, but he does. This last pillow is just a body pillow, and like I said, Jim uses it, but I use it like this. As you can see in the bed, I put it up like this on the side because the pup sticks with me or the pups sleep with me and one of them likes to nestle in here and I just don't want her to fall into the, you know, into the little space here. She might, probably will not, but I just don't want that to happen. And then finally, we've got these beautiful campaign chairs that we have, vintage. And I made, oops, let me see here. Every time I look at the bed, I, I don't know. I just want to make sure that the pillows look good because, you know, why not? In the front here, this back of the chair, this cover, I actually made uh, with some vintage fabric that I have. I actually collect a lot of fabric, and when I go to thrift stores or uh, Goodwill or estate sales, I always actually look at the fabrics because you never know what you're going to find, and there's so many beautifully made fabrics that you just can't get anymore that have uh, amazing colors and patterns. This has a beautiful hand to it and weight to it so that it hangs beautifully and I backed it with a, um, another fabric, a moiré, that's a fancy term for, you know, it's the one that looks like it's got wood grain on it but it's not, it's called a moiré um, design or pattern and so that's on the back, all the colors and the blues and the greens in here which is the dominant color in the bedroom because it's a soothing color, right, it's beautiful. So, back pillow or decorative pillow there. So, as you may have seen in the reveal video, this was not out. Now, when we have guests over, uh, I fold it up because it's collapsible, put it under the bed so it's out of the way, and, and the room looks pretty, right? But, to be honest with you, every day we leave it out because the pups use it, and we, have a, we live in a dog household. And as you can see, um, as I'm getting ready to do this bed, I've got a dog asleep in the pillows, so looks like I'm going to have to postpone that bed fixing until a little bit later because I'm not going to disturb her to do the bed. That's just the way we roll here. Um, our, our pups are allowed everywhere they are, you know, our children, our family, and you wouldn't wake up a toddler to fix the bed, would you? I'm not going to do it. But while she's sleeping or snoozing or dozing or whatever she's doing, I'm still going to fix up some things here. I like to straighten up because one of the things I've learned to do as I've gotten older is not waste my steps. So if I'm in a room doing something, fixing beds, uh, whatever, if I see something that needs to be in another room or put away, I will do it as I'm doing the other chore. I'm picking things up and because, you know, it just makes more sense. I try to figure out ways to, to save me time, and that's one of them. And another thing you might have noticed in the room is that we have no end tables at the moment, or side tables. And that is for a reason, actually. And that reason is simply uh, we haven't found the right ones yet. And as you'll come to learn about Jim and I is that we are the kind of folks who will not just buy something to fill up space. Uh, I want to make sure that we're getting the right thing and uh, one of my design philosophies is to be open to the possibility of things uh, that are coming into our, our spaces and that means that you know right now that's the space I have open. Uh, I have a specific dimension in mind of thing uh, of the side end table or side table whatever it may be that I want to put there but that doesn't mean that that can't change. Uh, those pieces, the, the marble pillar, the standing lamp, I can rearrange that or, or, or move that around to, to accommodate something a little bit bigger if it's the right piece for us. But uh, like I said, I have something specific in mind and I'm not going to just fill the space up with something um, to have something there just to replace it later on. I find that wasteful and I just don't want to do that. And, and uh, same with the pillars. If you look at the marble pillars, we don't have anything on them right now. Originally, I was looking at having some plants on there. But because of our unique situation here in Florida and what, you know, the issues we've had with growing plants, um, 
outside and even in some pots, uh, we've decided that you know we're going to take our time and look for the right thing now. It might be a statue, it might be a fake plant. If we find a good enough one, it might be a real plant. Uh, who knows what's going to end up on those pillars, but right now, I'm just keeping my eyes open, my options open, and eventually, we'll find the right thing. So, as you can see, I'm just, like I said, she's asleep and I'm not going to bother her. So, that is a quick little demo of what I do on a daily basis. Um, as I'm fixing the beds, I like to think about what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I've got some other chores in mind. And so, uh, our next vlog, I'll show you something else. Please feel free to let us know what you think. Um, please watch the other videos and so you can get a better idea of the house and our, and our um, exterior and what we're working with. And so uh, I hope you'll join us next week. Please again, share, subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the links and watch away. Please share, like, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. We'll do our best to keep you entertained and coming back for more. Bye for now.